this is one of those things where to make that great comedy, you've got to follow a little bit of the formula. I'm not really a big fan of romantic comedies in general. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Movie Feuds Presents Real Time Reviews. This week, we have a big shout out to our own Twin Cities moviegoers, hooked us up with some advanced screening tickets of 50-50. Thanks Twin City moviegoers! You guys are awesome. This is the big shout out. So there was a 50-50 chance I wasn't going to see this movie on Tuesday when Corey went. And uh, the stars didn't align for old Adam Bear. Corey Kangaroo over there hopped himself to the theater though. He'll tell you what it's about. You have cancer? They found it yesterday. They found it yesterday? Who found it? My cleaning lady found it in the back of my jeans. Who do you think found it? You're young. Young people beat cancer all the time. Every celebrity beats cancer. Guy from Dexter, Lance Armstrong, he keeps getting it. We'll see your I think 50-50 is going to go a little under the radar here. It's probably going to have a short uh, theatrical release. But I read the reviews and they're pretty good. I didn't think it was going to be that great. I was wrong. It is good. I think the question on everybody's minds is, how is Seth Rogen? Is he that great, funny, bong-loving guy that we've grown up with? Absolutely he is. Great. Just because I have cancer. For the millionth time, yes! I have cancer. I was wrong. Nice it was, it was weird. It's yeah, weird like that. No, that's it's not, too it, soon. it doesn't sound cool. The story revolves around uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character. Uh, Love it, leave it. I don't, I don't know his last name. Leave Britney uh, alone. I think it's leave Britney alone. He has cancer, and the whole film oh, is just spoiler. about his. <laughs> the whole film's about his uh, battle with cancer and his good buddy Seth Rogen. Uh, they kind of battle together. A little fun trivia for you: Joseph Gordon, leave Britney alone. Actually, shaved his head for the role. It actually, I grew my hair out for this review. That's great. What do you use this for? They're body trimmers, so. What is that? The one issue I had with the film is that there was really no other plot besides his battle with cancer. You know, I mean, there was a girlfriend thing. There's always the girlfriend thing. You know, there was the back and forth between Seth Rogen and Joe Gordon. I just, you know, other than that, there was nothing really to get captured in. So you're my shrink. How old are you? 24. So what are you like, Doogie Howser? Who? Big standout role for Anna Kendricks. You might remember her from Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, she's great in that. Uh, she was in Twilight as one of the vampires. She's, oh. she's in another uh, couple indie movies. However, she has a great role here. She plays a psychiatrist who Gordon Levitt uh, goes to see and talks to. I'm not going to spoil anything about the movie for you, but this is a great role for her. End of story here, this is a great movie. It was great scripting, the actors really shined. It's your typical indie film, had a lot of indie shots in it, a lot of stereo, you know, the public transportation, the walking down the, the public trails. But it's a good film. You want to go see this one. It's getting good reviews. I stand behind those reviews as well. Does Seth Rogen smoke a bong at some point and make little quirky remarks? Absolutely. Then I'm there. Oh, it's so good. Yum, 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 yum. More than just reviews. This is Movie Feuds Presents Real Time Reviews. The same guy in every movie. It's good at it. Just nice touch it. You can do more than touch it. it.